Hey guys, Anuki here, and welcome back to After Effects The Complete Guide. Uh, sorry for my mic in the other episode. I fixed it now, and also I was not able to figure out how to get sound through in After Effects, so I just took off my headphones, turned the speaker up, so I guess you'll just hear it from my laptop speakers or whatever. Anyway, let's just jump right into it. So, um, this is right where we left off, exactly right where we left off. This is literally the little testing that we still got. I don't think if there's even any keyframes. Yeah, there's nothing. So let's delete that. Before this was muted, let's put this back up so we can see the wavelengths again. Um, so first thing we're going to do is cut the song because there's only two clips, so honestly you only need like 30 seconds of the song, so we'll just cut it. And I'm going to teach you how to cut a song properly because some people don't really understand how music works, right? So let's listen to the song real quick. Let me make this a little bigger. All right. Okay, so... If you could hear, well, if you can't really read the wavelengths that, well, you could tell a little bit more here. This is, I believe, this bottom one is treble, this one is bass, I believe. If you don't know what those two mean, well, I'm sorry. So, the measure count, or the beats per measure. If you know music, the beats per measure is, um, four in this song. So, you can see from the wavelengths, this is the first beat, little thing. The little intro of the song. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Drum kicks in. Bum, bum, bum. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, bum, bum, bum. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is because this is kind of instrumental and we want the chorus right away pretty much. So let me bring this up a bit and let's cut it at the after the little triple the triple thing that we got. So the C right here, bum bum bum. And then the crash or whatever. Uh right here. So as you can see, you can't really get right into the middle of that or perfectly cut that. So what I like to do, like here's frame forward, frame back, command left and command right, or control left, control right for Windows, Mac Windows, different things. So um, you can see you can't really get into the middle. So depending on the song, usually you can just go one frame back. See, this is the beat right here, this little thing right here, right? And since you just passed that, you're not going to hear the beat. So let's just go back and let's control shift D to split the layer, double tap L to bring up the wavelengths again. Now let's bring this up and let's find the chorus real quick. It shouldn't be too, too far. Oh God. Right here. There we go. This little this little bump thing, you probably can't see it, right? Uh this right here. See this little bump thing? There we go. Bring it right there. Yeah, you pass it, so go one frame back. Now hold Alt and left or I don't know, open bracket, I guess. It's right next to the P in the keyboard, the letter P in the keyboard. Now let's drag this, hold shift and just to snap it. There we go. To snap it there. Press I to go right to the beginning of this layer. And let's bring this down. Oh. And let's move this. There we go. So now if we hear it. There we go. See? You could probably... There we go. That's alright. But now, this is what a lot of people don't know. And this is what I do. That sounds weird. So let's fade the song in. And then let's fade this part in and fade this one out as right on this beat. So you can create a marker just so you can remember, you know. Um, but it's whatever. So hold control shift and left to go back 10 frames and then hold alt and open bracket to bring the layer to your cursor right here. Now I'll press L once so to bring up the audio levels and we're going to keyframe. Uh, let's keyframe at that beat, which was right here at the end of here, at the end of this layer. Keyframe that, add a keyframe, go press I to go back and forward and hold. This is the decibel level. So hold left click and drag this all the way to 48. That's the lowest it'll go. So that means from here, it'll just kind of fade its way here. See, there we go. It kind of fades its way into its beat. All right, so we'll do the same thing for here. So control shift, right. Alt, close bracket. That's the one to the right of the open bracket. It kind of makes sense, you know, like the bracket. I don't know, fuck. Um, press L. Let's go back to the beat. Press L on this too, just to, there we go. There's the beat right there. So, 
keyframe that, press O instead of I. I don't know, a lot of shortcuts, but you'll get the hang of it. I for the beginning of the clip, O for the ending of the clip. So add a keyframe here and bring this one down to 48. So if you open these layers, this fades into the beat and this fades out of the beat. So now it sounds like this. You probably heard it yourself. I don't know, it's probably gonna sound weird from my mic to my computer, but that sounds way better than before. Before it sounded too choppy. Now, let's cut, let's find the ending of the chorus and then we're gonna end the song there. Should be right here. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, since we changed the comp size, this kind of the song kind of got cut. So let's bring this farther out a bit. There we go. Uh, oh, there we go. Right here. Uh, bring this up. Right here, this thing. Yeah, right here. All right, so Control Shift D to split that. Press L. Now we're gonna find the ending of the song. So um, press. If you don't hold Alt and you just press close bracket, it'll just snap the ending of this layer to your cursor. So actually, since we need to find the ending of the song, let's just like kind of do this, pressing close bracket to bring it back, just until we get to the. Oh, there we go. The ending of the song. Now what I like to do and what a lot of now a lot of people like to just fade the song out. But I what I like to do is find because most songs have an ending beat. So if you find the ending beat, we can simply just freaking uh, Alright, so let's find a nice beat. Okay, there's there isn't really a nice beat. But there is um, a part of the measure, so if you can hear it here, let me find it and I'll just kind of count the beats with you. Count the measures so we can find it easier. So, paying attention to the sound waves. Let's go a little head. One, two, three, four, one. Right there, at that one. That means it's right here. Now, this is how you kind of find what I like to call invisible beats. Because they're not beats, like you can't hear the boom, but you can tell. That's where a beat is. Right there, so. Ooh. Hit my mic stand. Alright, so hold Alt and open bracket to cut the layer right there. And let's drag this down, hold Shift and snap it to the end right there. And there we go. Now, it'll sound like this. There we go. Now we're gonna do the same exact thing that we did before. I'll just do this kind of real quickly because I already explained how to do it. Oops. Um, there we go, so, uh, keyframe, keyframe, control shift left, oh god, select this layer first, there we go, bring this all the way down, do the same here, 10 frames out, there you go, um, there you go, so now, that's not a little bit better, there we go, perfect, um, that should be it. That's the song right there. And that actually is under 30 seconds. If you didn't know, you can do any song. Well, not any song. I guess like 90% of the songs. Any song you want. I guess, I'll just say any, but don't take my word for it. So you can use pretty much any song you want. If Even if it's copyrighted, as long as it's under 30 seconds. I don't know why. I don't know what rule that is. I don't know, some kind of law, but you know. That's why it's nice to do copyrighted songs for two hour challenges. That's what I did for my 2HC. Um, but yeah, this song is under 30 seconds. So let's just bring it to 30 seconds right here. There you go. See, you can see right here, 30, 0, 0. So press N to change the, cut the workspace. There you go. See that? Do it again. There you go. Cut that there. Let's go to the very beginning. There you go, press B just in case, I don't know, maybe it changed. Right click the work area and trim to comp area. Now this is pretty much it. This is the song. Now this is gonna be annoying to edit to, so hold shift. Well, if you didn't click anything already, click this, hold shift and click this bottom one. So that highlights it all. Or you, since there's the only ones, you can just press control A. Now right click, 
and pre-compose. This is what I was talking about last episode, pre-comping. So what this will do is that this will just turn it into a composition. So it's not split, it's just all combined pretty much. Like in Photoshop when you have multiple layers and you just merge it together. So um, I don't really know what these do. I don't, I mean you could like breed it, but I don't know, I just mess around. So select move all attributes into new composition, add just composition duration to the span of those selected layers and open new composition I guess so then it'll open the composition on this tab right here so press OK actually we'll name this song comp there we go so this is the song comp now you may be like oh what changed well if you go back to the work comp now it just looks like this see now you press double tap L and now it's just one whole layer now I now I would disable the visibility just in case for there's some reason there's some kind of looking like a visual thing up here that'll like change everything so we'll do that leave this on and I, just so you don't get confused click this box right here that's to change the color now if you're OCD or you're very like an organizable or if you're very organized there you go if you're very organized you can change the colors so you can color code everything but you know it's whatever so I'm going to change this back to sea foam. That's the color it was before, so you don't get confused. You could change it to whatever color. It don't matter. All right, so. Um, there we go. So that's how to cut a song to our liking. So this is now going to be our new workspace. Uh, let's actually grab this and bring it lower. There we go. And that is the song cutting portion of it. Oh my